Right, some homeowners are still cleaning up following last week's storms, and they're wondering if help will ever show up for them. Communities like Bethel Park and Upper St. Clair declared states of emergency, but people in one city of Pittsburgh neighborhood say they've been left to deal with the disaster by themselves. Ralph Iannotti is live with their story tonight. Ralph. Yeah, thanks very much, Ken. Tonight, what they need is a backhoe and a dump truck here. This is not a dump site you see behind me. It's a city street. And some neighbors I talked to here tonight say they like the city step in and clean up this mess. What can you say? You know, it's real, but you don't want, you know, you, it just don't sink in. The flood waters have subsided along McKnight Street and Woodville Avenue, just off Green Tree Road. But for the people who live here, the problems, including the stench, haven't gone away. The water pushed me in here. It pushed me in here. And it had this tilted, and I was in the water and wasn't thinking because I was looking for the plug, trying to unplug it, not realizing electricity. Calvin Robinson and his neighbors say it's as if the city of Pittsburgh has forgotten about them in the wake of the recent flash flooding. We should be able to call somebody to get some kind of help or something. I don't get it. This is just a little bit of mine. This, this, that, that. There's more, there's more stuff down the basement. I can't find it. I don't want to go through the rubbish anymore. I was in there seven hours Saturday. I can't do it anymore. This is what I have, what I have, what I own. Jim Evans says he's lived in this neighborhood for seven years. Where's my rep representatives at? Where's our city workers? Where's my mayor at? Where's my help? There's no help been here. This is Thursday, Wednesday night, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, this is Monday, five days. I'm not seeing a city worker. I'm not seeing a city representative. Anybody here. This entire block littered with furniture and other household items that can't be saved. The floodwaters came gushing out of Sawmill Run, bringing with it not only debris, but raw sewage. Elkasan has posted this warning about the dangers presented by the creek. I lost my furnace, I lost my washer. My dryer, no electricity, hot water tank, and not one person's come down here to help. I mean, it's been a pain. It's a shame. It's a crying shame. The people out, uh, I think it was uh, Bethel Park or St. Clair, they got help, but we didn't. It's like we're forgot about back here. I really would wish the city would do something. They need to come out and do something. I mean, that's my, st that's my baby stuff right there. We lost everything. All, all of our kids' stuff is it, 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 gone. The stream over here was the biggest problem. That uh, I thought that the uh, Corps of Engineers had something to do with it before. Apparently, they quit working on it or something, but something's just not right with the flow going down through there. Just can't hold the water in a flash flood like this. Now, I reached out to the mayor's office tonight, but haven't heard back from anybody. Uh, City Councilwoman Teresa Kale Smith, who represents the West End neighborhood, told me this evening that she has uh, contacted local state lawmakers in Harrisburg asking them to assist in the cleanup here. We're live tonight in the West End Valley. I'm Ralph Iannotti, KDKA TV News.